Good morning people, welcome to the start of day five. Just left the city of Leon, just on the outskirts now, heading out north towards the mountains. Fairly easy night last night, bang in the centre of the city, went out for a spot to eat. The Scouse lads <laughs> survived on a diet of Guinness for nourishment and lager for hydration. Stunning achievement, boys. Stunning. So now, a couple of little boring stretches of road, and then we get out into the mountains. I love today, it's a lot of fun. The last stretch from Cangas de Ones all the way down to uh, Riano. Oh, just superb. Join us when we uh, out the city. There's something about your face, can't stop looking your way. Tires up, N621 folks, what a stonker. Sometimes when you stay in Leon, you have to do a quick bit of motorway just to get onto this road. It's a little bit boring and featureless, but as soon as you get onto this road, oh, it's a nice way to wake yourself up in the morning. straight but if you look right out into the horizon over that way behind this hill you've got the start of the picos five days on the road you know you know and you can see people are starting to get a little bit tired it's been the last two days of epic epic riding if you're not used to that it, it can really wipe you out i mean i feel tired and i do this fairly regularly oh what a sight picos Beautiful. That coast road, I was thinking about this last night, you know, are these the best roads I've ever ridden? And I'm, I'm very lucky in that I sometimes get the opportunity to, to go other places and try new roads and stuff. And that coast road in the Canaries, in Gran Canaria, that was pretty special, I've got to say. In fact, the Gran Canaries are special, but they're a different type of road. They're a very tight, technical sort of road. Whereas here, you've got all sorts of different types. You've got roads like that, and then you've got, like yesterday, proper, fast, epically fast roads. You know, and there's a lot here, a lot on offer. But then, in the Canaries, generally, you've got all the good weather, right? Chris is now behind me, he obviously wants to play. So let's try and switch on a bit. village of Lugan on the CL624 and that is the start of all the twists I want you close to me you give me what I need <clears throat> leave everyone behind you're all I think about I'm tired of the people that talk about nothing and I'm not wasting this moment Stay with you until the end Be 
<laughs> Never fails to disappoint that road. Stonking, love it. Here at the lake viewpoint, look how low this lake is. Wow, never seen it this low. And they've just had biblical rain here as well, so Oof, not a good sign. But anyway, boys seem to be enjoying it. Pack of stickers. Oh. <laughs> Brand it, mate. Brand everything you see. You're glutton for punishment. It's your second year in a row. Yeah. Have you got no mates? So alas, she kicks me out of the house, I've got nowhere else to go. <laughs> tunnels are sneaky because you go in them and there'll be like a right angle bend in the middle stonking and that will do now we'll go have some splash I need to stop going hoo-ha, I'm sorry, that must be really annoying. And there's Chris, sat patiently waiting. <laughs> you lost him? Yeah, just a bit. <laughs> it's trying to be secretive, isn't it? That's when it goes beep, 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 beep. Adios. Ah, just had a nice little cup of splosh. Blown cold. It is cold. I can tell we've gone higher up. It is currently. Oh, it says 15 degrees, but it feels much colder than that. Heated grips are on. Right, go track road. Up to the top of the mountain. takes you to a stunning viewpoint but it's a bit of an adventure to get there you've got bears dogs cattle just the usual things to look out for wolves not to mention potholes and gravel boulders landfall coaches shepherds 
maniac British motorcyclists coming the other way. It's all fun and games, isn't it, people? Seriously, it is worth it once you get to the top, folks. The only thing I'm thinking now is here comes the rain and the mist and fog. So we might not actually be able to see anything at the top of this viewpoint. <laughs> it's Mirador something, I can't remember what the actual viewpoint is called. This is where the GS comes alive, this is great fun. Ah, having said that, Sharkbite did this on his R1. <laughs> Mind you, Sharkbite also took that R1 down a storm drain, if you remember. And brought it out the other side too. <laughs> Spectacular effort. Now, wasn't expecting to need the visor cat on this trip. But never leave home without it. Never sure of these patches of soft gravel or tar or what they are. We're just up here. Oh wow, seven degrees that is. Whew. Whew. <laughs> Everyone's having a pee. <laughs> you like that, don't you? It's awesome. Look how cold it is. Wakes you up. Seven degrees. <laughs> you like it? Hey. Horrible. Horrible. I love it. Um, this is the viewpoint, but you can't see anything. <laughs> Sorry, that's the viewpoint. Sorry, this is the AS117. However, my visor is still steaming up. But look at that sat nav, look at it. Wherever we go, we're taking control. The future is ours now. Never ends, it's me and my friends. These are the good times. And I, I'm feeling like I could go on forever. And I've been running out of air, so let me catch my breath. This feeling I've got's making me crazy. If I'm having a good time, don't you blame me? That's making me crazy, making me crazy So, I'm just gonna drive, drive, drive This is a good little road, bumpy Imagine this would be a hell of a giggle in the dry That's a bit of fun, that I'm just gonna drive, drive Oh my god, that is sensational people. <laughs> Why can't I live here? Just stunning. We're just looking for somewhere to eat. Let's have a little look in here. Right, bit of a development. The place we're gonna do for food, uh, we're not doing for food, and Greg has a chain issue. Apparently his chain is almost sliding off the back of the sprocket and he doesn't have the socket for it. So we're now on the hunt trying to find a garage that has the right size socket so that we can tighten his chain. Every day is an adventure people, every day. Well, 
we got that sorted, found a garage, used a bit of Google Translate, and we got Greg's chain tightened up. Great stuff, right back on the road. This is the AS251. Oh my good god, never done this road before. What an incredible road. I don't know if you can see the sat nav, but the sat nav is insane. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that for a view. Wow, look at that. This is sensational. Lots of poo on the road though, let's look for the cows. When you see poo, look out for the beast that left it. Whoa! 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 Sheesh! That was a wobble. Welcome back folks, we are on the last little run from Kangas de Onis all the way to Riano to the hotel for tonight. So we're running a little bit low on fuel there, but uh, we should get to Riano, should. From what I remember this is a fantastic road, the N625, look at that view, look at that. Ooh. Oh dear. Oops. Ah, that could be a bit of a spanner in the works. Not sure we're going to deal with that. Okay, we've now changed. We're on the AS261. I guess there must have been some rock fall or something. About 50 miles, 54 miles of fuel. Apparently it's 50 miles there. We must pass the fuel station at 50 miles. Surely. It's a shame because that other road has got a lovely little canyon section. Oh my god, I hope we don't run out. Not out here. some fuel soon. Surely. quite fumes but not far from it most of us are on about 40 miles range I think uh, one of 
one of the Johns, he's on about 30. MT10's on round about 40. But Rocket Ron has 157 miles on his GS Adventure. So uh, if all else comes to it, if all else fails, we've got our length of tube, we'll be able to siphon out some fuel. But uh, yeah, those roadworks put a real spanner in the works there. However, it's all an adventure, folks. Every day is an adventure. When you're on tour, you never know what is round that corner. Tank reserve level reached. Oh, God. And my guts were bad enough as it was. Oh, I have said it time and time again, haven't I, folks? You never know what fate has in store for you in the next 10 minutes, in the next hour, around the next bend. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh. Wow. That is breathtaking. Go for that. Oh, okay, not you. <laughs> not me. Oh, not me. Not me. So leg not severed. Mm -hmm. Bike didn't run out of fuel. Best set of roads I've ever done today. Fantastic. Uh, that's more than that. And you learn how to adjust the chain. Yeah, you find him. Yeah, find him really to do not even out. Of, look, not even <laughs> out of his bike kit. Yeah, yeah. Really good roads, but locals <laughs> nearly got chinned. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey! <laughs> calm down, calm down! Rocket Ron was on fire today. <laughs> on fire. Had a fabulous day again. Good. Glad you enjoyed it. What a holiday. What a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> right, road closures in Spanish are more of a guideline than an actual direction. <laughs> <laughs> my passport says <laughs> you have to, was it facilitate my free passage? <laughs> which I did through the road closures. We're coming out of Europe. Brexit! <laughs> <laughs>